We are Vicarian, and welcome to the Daedalus Project! shows uh we don't did. let me miss anything you had ventana you had sons of texas uh, with uh, texas hippie coalition the texas hippie coalition and then to end your season last year you guys were with nonpoint yeah, yeah. which was yeah. a sold out fucking show yeah. at the oh. machine shop yeah. <laughs> so was that your was that your first sold out show at the machine shop it sold yes. out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Stage. i remember that getting was... notification that was, was me and Mike. We took a picture world, on stage man. just because it sold out as we were walking on. I remember that. I was tuning my guitar, getting ready to go as Tony Labrie walked up and announced that it was sold out, and I was. Yes. Yeah, that's got to be so. That had to be. Awesome. That yeah. had to be. It was surreal. That's our hometown like, venue. That was surreal as shit. That's what it's about. Like that's the. Well, that was fucking awesome. Like, we didn't the sell coolest. out, but damn. Yeah, it wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that was totally us. It totally us. But you just were in front of that, that many people. In yeah. seconds before you went on stage. You're welcome. Right. to amp you up pretty right. big. You're welcome now. Oh, we're yes. giving you a crowd. For sure. We Temple. played, and the air conditioner broke that night. It was yeah. hot. Yeah. It, was it was so hot, hot that I didn't actually see them play at all. <laughs> but no, no one did. No, I, I, I don't think I, yeah. There were so many people outside after you guys went on. that It was just too hot. How long has Vicarian been Vicarian? About oh, shit. somebody four checked years. the subpoena. We're past <laughs> three, we're past three Man, years now. Years. Yep. Who knew who? I mean, do you guys know the chatter? This is always his story. If we're laughing that much, we need the story. He was here. I've known Mike since high school. Playing a massive and uh, he's always been weird and quiet and not talking to people, but. We ended up being roommates, and uh, he got addicted to, like, uh, it was either rock band or guitar hero. He knew I played guitar, and he was like, yeah, I want to start a band. I'm like, all right, dude, whatever. <laughs> He's like, I've always wanted to be in a band, but, I mean, sure. I come home the next week from work, and he bought a drum kit, sit in our basement. I'm like, all right, I'll go get my app. Let's see what we got. Wow. All right, By well, the way, everybody watching, calmest hardcore drummer I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Blank okay. face, and he's just... Dah, 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 dah. But Mikey has like always been like anything I can do to learn more about drums. Like that's his lifestyle. The like, heartbeat of the band. I'd come home and he's just like watching <laughs> YouTube videos, learning new styles, heartbeat. going out. And I thought it was a joke at first. I like, forget it, about you. It's crazy. You like the story because heartbeat is his gamer tag on Xbox Live. Oh, get out of here! I shit you not. So that's <laughs> the dead beginning. Yeah, we start playing. Matt. We put a. Smoke. We can't find anybody else, so we we throw an ad up on uh, Craigslist, and. Um, Noah shows up, and I actually, I was so weary about somebody from Craigslist showing up that I actually duct taped my handgun to the back of my Which hand. I just recently heard about. I just recently figured this shit <laughs> out. He goes, rich, he brought up, he's like, I never told you that. I said, no, motherfucker. <laughs> I was you never told that. me that. Like, I only realized afterwards that like we're the ones that invited this random dude from Lapeer to a house in Flint to come in our basement and play music. You <laughs> Technically, Jake was next number. I've known Jake since... How old were we, Jake? Oh, Jesus. That. Something young as fuck. It was young. Anyway, Jake's always been... Jake was originally a rhythm guitar player. Uh, Hourglass is written down as our first song written together, but technically the first song up was Treason, written by me and Jake. Really? And then Jake just stopped showing up for practice. Well, and you could, not, <laughs> you could not get a hold of this motherfucker for nothing. <laughs> Gone. Disappeared. So we, we keep going. <laughs> Eventually, we hit Dirt Fest. Oh, I got this. So we go to Dirt Fest. And it's me, my girlfriend, or my ex-girlfriend, and her mom. Her little sister looks at me and goes, I want to go up front. So we go up front, and then all of a sudden, Pip breaks out, right? So I get a phone call. What's going on? Do you want to play bass? Well, there's some guy here looking for a bass player. 
All right, well, I'll be over there in a couple minutes. Because so. she wanted to bang. <laughs> she did bang. She did. So, <laughs> this, is, this is my ex's mom talking. Turns out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. Yes, I did. I get his number and shit, and then I'm like, in the middle of the week, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, what would happen if I hooked my guitar up to a bass amp? He was calling me. He was it's calling the me throughout the week. We were talking. We were talking throughout the week. Like, are you really gonna show up? Are you really gonna do this? No, I call him. Hey, you really gonna show up? He's like, yeah, yeah, dude. And he was. I got an idea. I want to do this. I just want to use my guitar through the fucking bass amp. But just let me try it. And I'm like, well, no, you you were gonna play fucking guitar. I'm sorry, but <laughs> you're just gonna play guitar. No, he comes to me and he's like, what do you think? And I'm like. All right, so we got a rhythm guitar player. <laughs> now we just need a bass, a bass to move on from there. Like that's great. No, that's cool. It was really hey, cool. Hey, let's give like, Jake a call back. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> even a no, Jake. We got two people from a different fucking. No, band. we've been trying to call your ass yeah. at that point, motherfucker. Jake's right. That day I did call him. I was like, "Hey, dude, where are you at?" I mean, I got his voicemail because he don't answer his fucking phone. <laughs> where are you at? We got two guitar players, drummer, singer, everything is good. We just need a bass player. Come play bass. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. We move on from there. Our buddies uh, in Rotmouth, Tony Padilla, he steps up and he's like, all right, hey, listen, I'll play bass for you guys. Help you and Eric Figgins. Oh, yeah. Eric Figgins. Well, that's when we fired Mikey. That's a, well. that's a whole <laughs> That's a dark area we don't go to. <laughs> Me and Mikey have both quit the band early, early on. Oh, yeah. No, or girl, no one was the for first one reason or another. Yeah, I was the first one. No, no one was the reason. first. No, one you said it right the first girl. time for a girl. For a girl. For, no, for a girl. For a girl. Join a band for a girl. That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. It was stupid. You're supposed to join a band for a girl. For a girl, exactly right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys? How do you guys write? Did you guys? Did you? It's a jam, jam session. You and your other guitar player are jamming, and you guys aren't clicking. Then that song's obviously not going to work for us. Everything like riffs and everything come from a, a thing down inside where you know I got to get this out. We got to get this out. Your singer's not feeling it at the time. Wait till he does. What's right. really cool about a band is that you got five guys. <laughs> These are my brothers, hey, you know. Anything that's going on in their business. personal lives and shit that's going on, I feel. You know, when stuff comes in, and we kind of feed off of each other. Like, oh, whether or not, yeah, whether or not you like it, you're fucking brothers with them. You're in a relationship with these guys. Why do you assume so. brothers is homo? <laughs> so, right, wait, what is this? I got right, so what happens from the family are you coming from? from? <laughs> right. When He's it like, brothers, no homo. He's like, got a sister. Not okay. about brothers. I'm talking about four or five guys. When it comes to writing, when it comes to writing a song, listen, bitch, we're married. One one guys. of the guys comes in. Usually, especially when you're in a relationship with five guys. <laughs> Hit me up. He's no, got it right. This time. <laughs> no, but when you're when you're you know around five guys, most of your most of the time you have outside of work and doing everything else, you're, I'm with these guys more than anybody I'm with. My old, I ain't even with my old lady as much as I'm with these guys. Probably for the first, you know, year, two years of us doing this, it was about me. Trust me. It was all about me. Oh, I was it like, was. I had enough of me to get out of I get out fucking just And you did the, without you did without it, right? having any of these guys' as bullshit, whatever. Now it's like I have a whole where band you, where full of bullshit draw from for inspiration. These guys. And that's my biggest thing is I've talked to before this band was even around, I'm always the person to go and talk to someone that is out of place or someone that no one else is going to talk to. It's like, whatever, dude, I'm going to talk to this guy, see what's going on in his life, why he's where he's at. And, you know, I just, I like soaking up kind of what's going on Mm -hmm. in, you know, avenues I haven't been down. Is there a message that you guys have? Live for today because tomorrow may not come. I mean that's a big part of that's it. That's a huge part of that's it. That's probably right? a huge Man, part suicide of suicide is stupid. That's, that's it. Yeah. That's <laughs> suicide. Yeah. That's well, like no, it's, it's, it's pretty no, much. If you, if you feel li- you need to commit suicide, contact one of us because we all felt in a, that. No, in a oh, small yeah. sentence, it's kind of you know, live for today because you'll never know what'll come tomorrow, and something's gonna kill you sooner or later anyway. You don't gotta do it yourself. I promise you. Well, you can take your time. What 
is the absolute craziest thing that's ever happened to you while you're on set? <laughs> you're, you're, you're live, people are watching you, and, and what happened? So many well, I'll go first. First time I saw titties was awesome. Just want to say that up front. <laughs> like I saw titties in, a, in oh my, my show. God. There were titties for me. They were for you. They guys. were for yeah. me. No, I think the craziest thing for me on stage really was playing the Aloha. That's where we started the Aloha Lounge. Um, I jump up on <clears throat> drum riser, go from his drum riser. And I don't know what happened between because I was screaming. Because when you scream, sometimes you get. Yeah, the head If brush. you're doing it wrong, which I do a lot of the time, but I uh, scream, and I just blacked out. Wow, and somehow woke up in the middle of the audience with my mic still. And I woke up to like a ring in your ears. You know, you play like Call of Duty and shit, you hear the grenades yeah. go off. It was like, and it zoned in. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. I just started screaming again, you know, went right back into the song. But it was. That was probably one of the craziest things for me to not know where I was for, you know, a good 10 seconds or so. Watching that was even better. Like, <laughs> oh, God. he thinks he just stumbled out, but what really happened is he walked out and he fell backwards and the crowd caught him and pushed him back up. And I just see him like come to, he like stares at his mic for a second, and, like looks around, like lost and going, oh, and then just like right back into it. I was like, that's, that's the perfect moment right there. That's the <laughs> Beautiful. The definition of a Kodak moment. Yeah. yeah that's, I mean, I could go through a handful of craziest moments for me. I was the only sober one and a handful of fucking 21 year olds and up, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was the ba- 17. The baby has the memory, right? 17 yeah. to 20. I got so many yet. crazy moments to go over. Oh, I have seen <laughs> One of my, oh, no, my favorites is to hold my beer. Oh, man. Because I, I can relate worn, that to any I have worn more than one of Noah's beers. Definitely. Like almost all of them. New oh, ones, fresh ones, yeah, ones. Yes, they were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got the the Detroit thing. pub, man. I'll never forget that. Oh my god. Several. Holy fuck. Pick was that the, was that the same night that I wrestled Mikey out the door? Yeah. 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 We wrestled out the door. I don't know if you guys I were still the there. Or not. It was we also the there same night over. you French kissed me. Yep. There was a lot of fun that night. You should have been there. They were they were fighting over keys, and I was drunk as hell. They were fighting over keys in the and middle I was of an interview. Driver. You asshole. He's fine. Hey man, when you got nature calls, uh, it's hey, calling me. Jake's got a piss again. That's what he does. That's the night you knocked the camera <laughs> off the end of my guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did a whole lot of fucked up shit that night, and I don't even know about it. Now, where did enough. Where Never did the him. audience interaction come in? One of my favorite things is the fact I mean, all of you guys at some point end up in the audience. I've moshed with you. All of you. That's why we do it. <laughs> Initially from uh, my dad is where I, where I picked it up. Being raised, my dad's always played in bands. Always. And just one of the big things he told me, you got to yeah. realize it's a show. Yeah. Incorporating the audience. And you guys, you do. guys do. Amazing. Yeah, dude, it's amazing. monkey see, monkey do. If people see you standing up there playing your guitar, they're going to stand there and watch the, you play your guitar. Exactly. If they see the you jumping off stage. We're really good. We're monkeys. I love when you have a trust you can grab on. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the very first time the very first time we ever got to see you was the first round of Crown Free Underground 2014. The first one, yeah. And you were hanging from the ceiling, and you two motherfuckers threw your guitars at each other. And I'm sitting here <laughs> with the camera like, I don't know what to do. What the fuck just happened? Like, this shit just blew my mind. Yeah. And another thing that leads into that, too, is the band name, Vicarian. Which is based off the root word vicarious, which means, you know, live your life through exactly. that person. Yeah, well, we're, we're the person. I'll tell you what, I've been living vicariously through all my favorite bands my entire life. Mm-hmm. The we, whole band name want vicarious, vicarious comes from, I want to want someone to want to live through me one day. That would be fucking No cool. better way to live through me than to get hit by my elbow. And there's, no, what, there's no better way to do that <laughs> than with music. Yeah, <laughs> really? Right. There really isn't. No. That's, I, that's, I thought that the first time I met you guys, I was like, that's just brilliant. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I, what I we still, try to I'm still, I'm going to see Head P tomorrow night. You have no idea how fucking excited I am for them because I'm fucking just like, oh, yeah. I'm living through them that night. You know, like that's that's where vicarious comes from. We used to try to explain the real definition of it because when we came up with it, it wasn't you know 
blah 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 definition about frogs and geography and all that <laughs> shit. No, I'm a frog. No, I'm gonna I'm give you my definition of it. What it was was straight up. I've lived through all my favorite fucking rock stars. I'm still gonna continue to do that the rest of my life. I mean, that's just it's what we do. It's human nature. I'm like that guy's fucking awesome. I fuck. And I'm really bad, by the way, like when it comes to meeting those guys. I just, I'm really bad. Uh, he turns into a fangirl. It's well, that shit happens. It's adorable. You know? Anyway, I just <laughs> I just one day want to be the person that someone comes up to is like, or you know, the, the band that people go, yes, they're fucking doing We're happy for them. Like, we're doing, we're rooting for you. Like, we're going, yeah, let's do this. And, you know, it's because of you I got through this. And it's because, you know, like, because that's what I have for my bands that I fucking love, you know? Like, I just... I fangirl the fuck out. I'm like, bam. Oh, dude, you. It's because of you that I made this move in my life. It's because of you. Like, this lyric made me make this move in my life. Speaking of fanboying out, this is about as bad as you'll see me do it. When the fuck is your album coming out? Oh, oh. Yes. it's coming. Um, July 9th will be our last date. We all got to go in and do do like fix up stuff. July 9th will be our last date to do that. After that, it's all gonna come down to well, mastering, which is money. Is gonna come down to production, which is money. Yeah. So I mean, it's all us getting our. Shit together. Our shit together, our money in the bank <laughs> to do it. Because right now... So, so you're closing up on finishing the the songs being ready, but you have to... Yes, we all have a, we all have a bit to go and back and on top and of that, you still got promoting the album itself. Well, yeah, and Can find which show question? you want to release Have it you guys at? thought about, like... I mean, I know because I've been there. Yeah. We're at the at the non-point show, Jake and I were sitting outside. We're just sitting there bullshitting. And some guy comes up and he's like, Man, I loved your set. You guys have a disc. If you guys had like a card that was like a pre-order card with like a QR scan that sent you yep. to like a GoFundMe or a, or something to, to start pre-orders for it to help yep. you pay for the mastering and then when it comes out you just deliver those discs. Honestly, we're probably going to have to do that. Yeah. When it comes down to I it, mean, and that's going to help um, you guys get the thing yeah. mastered faster because that's your fans paying for it. Because I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'll, I'll buy one. I'll, I'll, I'll buy, buy one. three. If we can do that, we will do that. We'll, we're gonna and like you know if they throw offer, an extra, we'll offer, feel it out get a little like bit. One song, free two songs mastered. So when they know. pre-order, they have. Like two tracks downloaded. Feel it out and figure out how we can go about that if we do that. I, mean, any, I want any, to be a regional band. We have to make that regional you play in before front of, we go People farther. stop. They didn't come to see you, but they start to watch you. The non-point show was huge for us, yeah. man. Like you can just you can see it. Like there's evidence for that. But we've paid our dues to an extent mm-hmm. to be able to play some more national shows, at least here in Flint. I don't think Which, we should have to apologize for something. No, like no, that. you well, don't no, have to no, apologize. It's no, a matter of bullshit. It's, 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 it's logical. It's the logical next step. Well, not, they've got they've got a live video for Terrified, which you know I I absolutely think showcases the energy that you guys put out there. I mean, you can never capture in one. You want to have fun? Oh, come can, see a show. Can I say one thing before yeah. you go? It's like it's not even about the fans. I want friends, and I want everybody, whichever camera here, come have a fucking drink with me and have a good fucking time. That's yeah. all I care That's about. What I'm oh! Oh! Possibly see my pants oh! out because I have an issue with keeping my pants on. When I'm <laughs> I can't talk enough about how much fun it is to see these guys live. You're really doing yourself a disservice if you don't come out and truly experience what these guys put into a stage performance. That's right. And do we have enough time to get those shoes here? Because these things are fucking... <laughs> these are... No, no seriously. They, these they are, are beautiful. beautiful. I saw them while we were fucking... Joe did those. Are we going uh, bowling tonight, what? Joe? I see email us. Alley right down the email road. us and Joe will make you some. I will. I spike will them you? myself. Yeah. That's beautiful. Joe shoes. makes I shoes. I will spike any shoes you Joe, want for $30. Joe, what's your company name? If you want me to buy the shoes, then I got whatever the shoes No, what's your company name? E- email quickslofers at gmail.com. I'll create it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Swag ass hey, shoes. Thank you guys, everybody, for watching us, joining us for the Data List Project. Data List Project! Yeah! yeah. That's Evan. And then five, four. What happened to the list? I hope that uh, uh, you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that uh, you
know, they behave themselves. Really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I mean, that's the opposite of what I told them. Like, you said. <laughs> I do it what? I behave myself with motherfuckers around me know how to count three, two, one. These guys are cheers. Yeah, we're cheers. Where the, the fuck you at, Mike? And these five guys, oh, like, you know, well, you don't always have five guys. Come on. Anyway, Game. I have. Come on, guys. I swear I'll cut my hand. You better slap that shit. <laughs> so, you can just blow or whatever. <laughs> We end up, we get. No, if you guys do more, I would have stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we got him now. Good job, Mike. Titties! Kids, if you're going to be in a band, do it for titties. <laughs>